we just uh, unloaded uh, a full set of Swedish heavy metal to this and uh, uh, we are pretty exhausted, a little bit tired, a lot of wired and uh, <laughs> we are having a lot of fun here. Uh, all the energy in a place like this uh, you don't realize you're going on spare energy because you go out, you give everything, you throw all the energy out with this amount of people they will throw so much energy back at you so you can survive while you're on the stage as soon as you leave the stage you don't get the feedback from the crowd anymore and then it's you, you totally die <laughs> We were initially told that the show is going to be a little bit shorter, but we asked and the organizer of the festival was really kind to us because we are filming this for a DVD, Blu-ray, full quality video production and um, really uh, they were nice to us and then there was even more playing. I mean, I don't know how long we were on stage, but it felt like five minutes. Actually, yes. Uh, I don't know how it felt for you, but for me it was... I, the first two songs are in normal tempo, and then you're on the last song. Yeah, yeah. kind of got the same feeling. Yeah, as for every gig, mostly, when you got the feeling, it's like you get on stage and then the first songs are like, oh shit, and then you try to, you know, look at the audience and get, you know, and then you get the energy and it's over like that. Yeah. It's sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fun, but it's sad when it's over. That was the only music video I ever had fun doing. Because I hate doing music videos. It is so boring, it is bullshit. Because they tell you, okay, play this song again, play this song again, play this song again. But now we had a, a big production. We had uh, you know, famous Polish actors. We had uh, Peter Stormare from Hollywood coming in. And we had one of your NATO generals uh, in the video as well. And actually that was really fun because it was more like a movie set than a heavy metal video. We played the songs maybe five or six times, something like that. And you know, with the pyros and the flamethrowers. And then we would walk around, uh, watch them uh, shoot the, the story of the video. So actually the only music video I enjoyed doing was Uprising. The rest I fucking hated, <laughs> I'm sorry. Wurzog is very special. I can honestly say uh, that we have, we're very lucky, we have very good fans all over the world. And uh, it's not only in Poland we have very good fans. But I can honestly say uh, Poland is one of the top places you can always play as a heavy metal band. We are not the only band who says this. And especially with the connection we have singing about military history, uh, with the songs like 40 to 1 Uprising, about Polish military history. Um, has made it kind of a special bond for us. With the Lord my protector, make a bow to my will, to the sky, I see our rollers rise. To the sky, I see our rollers rise. A lot of songs that Sabaton has is written is that because the inspiration comes from the fans and the ideas come in from the fans because when we sit home in Sweden we don't know what's happened in the whole world. We can impossibly know that. In school we don't learn what's happening in every country around the world. No, no chance. We are barely learning our own history. But 
Thanks to a lot of fans, it started with the song 40 to 1. One fan sent in, here is an idea that maybe would suit you for singing a song about it. And uh, we thought that that was absolutely exactly that we were looking for. And um, I mean, the, for, for the next one, which we wrote about Poland, the uh, uprising song, we were invited to the Warsaw Uprising Museum and we got all the inspiration on location, which means even more when you have the connection that you are all, you are there, you can feel, you can see, you can talk to people who can tell the stories instead of just reading on the internet or in a book or something like that. So Uprising was very emotional for us. That is the most important thing for us because the songs are going to be the same almost every night. Maybe, you know, uh, Tobi will improvise a little bit of a different solo every now and then and stuff like that. It's going to be the same songs. The audience, the crowd, is what's different. And at least for, for me, uh, that's what this is about having fun and having fun with the audience makes it even more fun with a, such a big stage and you know the audience was so far down it's really hard uh, to actually keep the connection with the crowd but I think you should also remember that that is the most important thing not only professionally but also for your own sake because that's what still makes it fun Rise!